title, I'll be showing you how to eco print on a piece of cloth. So yeah, let's begin. All you need for this is a piece of cloth. Here I'm just using this reusable bag. Scissor, a hammer, but I don't have a hammer, so I'm just using this mortar as a hammer. A thread and a needle. And obviously you'll be needing some live flowers too. A light colored pencil and a sheet of plastic. Let's begin. First, inside out the bag. As I'm making a cami top here, I'm using a camisole as a guide. And will use it to draw outlines for my cami top. Just place the camisole over your cloth. And then start outlining using a pencil. I recommend using a light colored pencil because by this you can avoid outlining lines to be seen on your finished product and also I won't be stitching the edges so I'm just using a light colored pencil to do so. So after the lining is done, cut the cloth following the outlines. You can use any cloth piece for making any design of yours but since I don't have any cloth piece and also can't go out because of the quarantine, I'm just using this reusable bag and trying my best with it. I hope everyone is safe and take care of yourself, of your family, stay at home, pray we all come through this hard time safe and sound. Keep aside the cut piece don't discard it off because you'll be needing it afterwards Now cut the handle of the bag. You can crop it according to your preferable length and stitch the sides accordingly. So there you have your cami top here. Start printing on it. So here coming to the printing, I'm using this hand stitch bag. Place your plastic sheet beneath your bag because you don't want to be staining your tablecloth. First for the printing, I'll be using this very common and beautiful flower here. Just place the colored part of the flower towards the cloth where you want to print and then cover it with the cloth. And start tapping on it with a hammer you can tap with any hammer or mortar or any heavy flat and object till the color of the flower starts appearing on the covered cloth you can even use if you have a cello tape you can even use a cello tape to stick the flower onto the cloth and then start tapping So voila, you have your beautiful pattern here. Isn't it simple and easy? So second, again we'll try with another flower. Here I'm using this beautiful little flower here. I just love the pattern and design of this flower. And also it gives a very nice print so I just love this flower. Don't forget to shift your plastic. If you are not using any table cloth, you can just skip this part. And now, just place the colored part of the flower towards the bag. Cover it or tap it. And then start tapping. 
I'm just covering the flower so that it doesn't get displaced while tapping. So yeah, coverings for that. You start seeing the color on the covered cloth. And there you are. Your beautiful pattern flower here. This is cut off the flower. Here I'm using some leaves for the printing. Always keep the back of the leaves towards the glue because the bag gives a more definite dimension of its pattern. By now you already know what to do, just place it, cover it and then tap it. Personally I love printing leaves because I feel like it gives more definite dimension and darker colored prints. So yeah, I just love it. You can print and try with different leaves and flowers and create your own little work of magic. Don't forget to take a sneak peek for the places where you wanna be tapping more. Don't tap too hard or don't tap too lightly, just with the enough pressure. And then there you have your beautiful leaf pattern here. So this is the last that I'll be showing you how to print. This is my personal favorite to print. Just cover it and then tap it. So try it yourself at home, kill your bottom. Stay at home, stay safe and don't forget to show me some love. And also don't forget to show me your work if you do after seeing any of my work so yeah don't forget to share there you have see you next time bye